Hello there, you're watching Biz World. Bank Negara Malaysia has increased the overnight policy rate OPR by 25 basis points to 2%. In its monetary policy statement, the central bank said the ceiling and floor rates of the corridor of the OPR are correspondingly increased to 2.25% and 1.75% respectively. It added the sustained reopening of the global economy and the improvement in labour market conditions continue to support the recovery of economic activity. Several central banks are also expected to adjust their monetary policy settings at a faster pace to reduce inflationary pressures. Inflationary pressures have increased sharply due to a rise in commodity prices, strained supply chains and strong demand conditions, particularly in the US. Bank Negara last adjusted borrowing costs in July 2020. Malaysia's economic growth gathered pace in the last quarter, driven by stronger demand following a relaxation of COVID-19 measures. A Reuters poll, however, indicated a prolonged slowdown in China could have significant knock-on effects. Median forecast of 18 economists found Malaysia's economy is predicted to have expanded 4% in the January-March quarter compared to the same three-month period a year earlier. Meanwhile, Bank Negara is scheduled to release the first quarter GDP for 2022 on Friday, ranging from 2 to 5.7 per cent. Malaysia's growth improvement was likely underpinned by stronger domestic demand driven by private consumption and services activities. Meanwhile, Moody's Investor Service said the current high inflation will cause significant but temporary credit effects in many countries, as the actions of central banks will help push inflation lower next year. It will ease further in 2024 with economic growth recovering towards trend. According to Moody's, the high inflation rates were unusual. Since the early 1990s, inflation in many major economies have remained relatively low as countries established inflation targeting frameworks. While the experiences of individual countries differ, most major advanced and emerging economies have contained inflation, at least until recently. The online buying and selling of motorcycle trend seem to be gaining traction in Pulau Pinang, Johor and Kelantan. As such, the three states are the main focus for e-commerce player iMotorbike, which is to open 12 inspection centres over the next 12 months. Kita mempunyai sekurang-kurangnya 40 orang uh, bekerja di iMotorbike uh, dan kebanyakannya adalah uh, pemuda-pemuda kita dan uh, kita juga ingin memberi lebih lagi banyak peluang pekerjaan dengan adanya pusat-pusat pemeriksaan. Dengan pusat pemeriksaan ini, kita memulakan lebih lagi banyak uh, mekanik uh, dan juga pengawai pemeriksaan. All motorcycles sold in this platform will undergo 170 inspection points to ensure the used motorcycles are road-worthy. The e-platform has motorcycles ranging from 100 to 1,800 cc. Home furnishing brand Huga will put its growth focus on strengthening the e-commerce platform and brand awareness of its new products. The company also is likely to see earning growth in the coming years, driven by enhancing the website by year-end to give better experience for e-commerce customers. We are still aiming at uh, bringing a lot of awareness to the brand. Um, as of now, we just got our report uh, last month actually. We have about 35% of brand awareness in Malaysia, which is uh, one of the uh, one, of, one out of three of the people in Malaysia that knows about our brand. Um, and we are definitely aiming to bring this number to even higher uh, next year, targeting about maybe 50%. Huga will also ramp up collaboration and partnership activities to expand its market. Besides Singapore, Huga currently has seven stores in Malaysia, with the target to add at least 12 stores by the end of this year. The COVID-19 pandemic had brought a more significant focus on the importance of business resiliency after taking into account the increased demand. That's all the time we have for Biz World today. I'm Nadia Azmi. Thank you for watching and stay safe.